Hello guys, Tabby Chicken here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. You guys smashed the like goal on the last video, so I'm continuing my series on Soccer Manager. Thank you so much for all the support I've been getting recently. It really helps, and now let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is something that I said I would keep to this episode, and that is transfers. I got a comment asking to get a keeper, and I will do that in the next episode, as I would like to have a poll in the comments to decide if I should get Onana, an 85 rated keeper, or Kepa, an 80 rated keeper, but much younger with more development, with all of my money, or instead get a slightly worse keeper, who would still improve the team, but also have stays to make another bigger signing. You guys decide. So I'm going to be looking to make a loan transfer as our first transfer. He's going to be Swedish, left mid. Yep, and there he is. Three down from the top. Anthony Ananga. Wait, what? He plays for Sheffield Wednesday? I thought it was United. No! Oh, he's already on loan from United. Looks like Wednesday beat us to him. Will he even let me place a bid? No. Oh. Why? That's so unlucky. At least we have another option, as I had a backup player. He's English, centre mid, young. Okay, so let's scroll down. And there he is. You might have guessed it, but it's Conor Gallagher from Chelsea. Wait, oh my goodness, not again. No, no, why? Cardiff City. Stop stealing all of my flipping transfer targets. Okay, so I have one more player that I might want to buy. Except that this one is a full-on transfer. It's going to be a striker and quite an old one. He's French and he plays in the Italian league. Of course, I'm talking about the one and only Olivier Giroud. Value of 6 million? I'm just going to bid 10.5 just to be on the safe side. But there we go. Winning the bidding war. And Olivier Giroud is set to join Clermont Foot 63 as the first transfer of the series. Let's go. Finally. One of them do, doesn't get disrupted. Okay, so we have quite a few emails. Yes, and there we have Giroud considering a contract. The coaching report. Ah, yes, that's what we wanted. Negotiate terms with Giroud. Nah, nah, no way. Giroud has actually snubbed us. Giroud has actually flipping snubbed us. Why is this episode going so badly? Oh, why? Okay, so at least you have some other things. Like a bid for Seydou. Nice. 4.1 million. That seems slightly on the low side. Let's see how much he's actually worth. 6.5 million. No way am I accepting four. What? Okay, so at least we can request improved bids. But even that only gives me 4.7 mil. Let's end auction. However, we have a bid for Gastian. Let's see if it's worth it. He is valued at 2 million. And it's only, and it's only going to have a declining rating. So let's actually choose to sell him. Let's request improved bids, and there we go. 3.1 million is much, is much more than enough for me to sell Gastian. So he is on his way to AJ Auxerre. Okay, so we have another offer here. A loan one from US Konkanu for Diallo. Let's reject it. Probably won't even get much playing time there. 
Wow, it has only been a, about a week, and we have three bids. One for Seydou. Again, only four mil. Let's go and request improvement, and then decline. Montpellier have made a bid for Gnegla. And I don't think he'll get any playing time there, so we will, be not, we will not be accepting the loan. We have so many offers. Another one is for, for Candem from Villafranche. Let's accept it, and hopefully he'll get some playing time there. And Nancy Lorraine want Jabby, and you know what? Let's accept it, as Jabby could be crucial in the future, and it would be good to loan him out for some game time. Okay, so I've finished accepting all the loans, and here are the notifications saying that they've been sold. Oh, so many lol. But now, it is time to get into the first game of the video and against RB Salzburg. This is going to be our toughest game yet against a team which is quite a lot better than us, as you can see there. Hmm... I'm going to start our strongest team, including Zafane, Dusu, and Kawi. Let's get into it. And here we go for the second game of the Austrian preseason competition. It is RB Sal Salzburg against Clermont Foot 63. And we are underway. Come on! Oh no, Salzburg on the attack. Oka 4. To Seewald. Bernardo dribbling. Gorna Duaf now. No! Seewald scores and we are already 1 0 down. No! Okay, so minute 44 and we are on the attack here. Alavina with the ball. He's crossed it and Cowie! No! He put it wide! Oh, what an opportunity missed. Yep, and it is going to be half time here after we squander an easy chance to draw level against the dominating Salzburg. But here we go for another 45 minutes of football in Austria. Come on, guys! Substitution. Substitution. Okay, so we're in the 61st minute and we're going to make some subs. We're going to make some big changes, so bear with me for a bit. Okay, so this is what I've chosen to go with. A sort of 4-4-2 with two cams. I've taken off the tired gonalons and hopefully this tactical switch will help us win the game. And they are coming on. Substitution. Oh no, Salzburg with a free kick here. Bamid! What a save! By our keeper Dior! He has just single-handedly kept us in this game. Wow, great stuff. Substitution. Oh, another opportunity for Clermont. Come on. Magnin to Andrich. Now Cowie! Off the bar! What the heck is my luck in this episode? Oh. Okay, so we're going to make some more lasted substitutions. Bringing on Borgs and Kofriaz. And also definitely putting us to all out attack here in search for another goal. Free kick here for us. Maybe a last win it winner. No. It's headed away. And that is full time here in Austria. RB Salzburg 1. Clermont for 0. It was a very end to end game. But we didn't take our chances well enough. Cowie hit the bar. And shot wide. Um, oh well. GG. Okay, so at least you have another offer for Gnegla, and this time we will accept. 
Bruh, even more bids. This time for Cowie. 6.5 million from... <laughs> Ironically, Salzburg. What the heck? I might decline out of spite. But let's actually check how much he's worth. 5 million. So actually it isn't that bad of a deal. Let's raise the bar it and, and... Oh, wow! Oh my goodness! 10 million for Cowie! I am taking that any day of the week. There he is, off to River Plate. Okay, what is this? Our chairman has signed a 36-rated player. He's absolutely terrible. What the heck is he thinking? He's worth 1k! 1k! What the heck? He's absolutely useless! Immediately going to the transfer list. Okay, so here we go for the last match in the preseason group stage. Can we progress to the knockouts? We are up against Benvento Calcio. As, and as there are high stakes, let's put up a simi similar team to last match. Except maybe not the same formation. Yeah, let's just go back to 4-5-1. Come on. Okay, so here we go. We are in Italy for the final group stage match here. Benvento Calcio against Clermont Foot 63. Both fighting for a place in the semi-finals. And we're underway! It's been a very eventless first half, and it will draw to a close here. Nil-nil. Only one, one half-time sub for us. Bella coming on for Rashini. And we're underway for the second half here. Come on! Okay, what is this? A free kick for Ben Wento. Oh, and a red card! No, 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 oh no! Gonalons, you idiot! No, we couldn't score with 11. How are we going to do it with 10? Substitution. Let's go make our subs. Let me fiddle around with the squad here. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. A 4-3-2 with only one central mid. But with Gonalon sent off, I think it's the best for us. Okay, so this is going to be full time here. And we will draw with Benvento Calcio. Not a single action in the game. <sighs> so boring. I don't even know if we got through or not. Let's find out after a nil-nil draw in Italy. Salzburg demolish Le Havre and take P1. But no! We're knocked out by goal difference! Benvento Calcio take the dub and go through to the semi-final. No! Ah, great. The game hates me. I quit.